All right, folks, here we go again with another beautiful, gorgeous looking 2011 Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor with only 90,000 miles. Folks, this car has no rust whatsoever. This car came out of uh, Orange County, Transit at 30s. That's where the car came from, so I really doubt this car was a uh, patrol car whatsoever out there. Uh, again, it belonged to the Department of Transportation. That's what that means. Department of Transportation, original black front factory, so the vehicle does have scratches and door dings. The vehicle does have a window tent from the department, medium shade all around. The vehicle has been completely serviced, doesn't need any repairs whatsoever, and it is turnkey ready to go anywhere across the country. This vehicle is in immaculate running condition, guys. I'm telling you. This is a uh, E85 OK flex fuel unit. OK. Folks, as you can see, I have three holes on the body. I will go ahead and point those out to you as I walk around to the car. First door ding is gonna be in the front, passing your side door. You can't really see it, but it's right there. I was right there, you see it? Do you guys see it? Oh, it's right there, guys. Okay, right there. Now, that was a door ding for sure, right here in this area. Second door ding is gonna be on the passenger side fender. You can see the crease clearly right there. I'm not sure what hit it here, but it's right here, okay? I do have some door dings on the hood. Let me see if I can go ahead and get those to show a little bit. Oh, there's one right there too. They're right there, guys, okay? Folks, I do have a uh, good set of uh, used uh, spotlights with new unity led light bulbs those are something new that i'm trying uh, those cost me about 180 dollars each they are new clear lights and lenses on the front folks just so you know the old headlamps that the car came with i replaced them they were pretty oxidated and they were pretty dirty i didn't want to waste time cleaning those up so i went ahead and used a, a good set of uh, original equipment Headlamps OEM that I had here for my Crown Vicks. Folks, uh, I'm not sure if I said this, but vehicle does have scratches, okay? Original black from factory, so it does have scratches. First antenna right there. Second antenna right there. Third antenna right there. And folks, uh, one more door ding that I forgot that I just saw it right now. Right there. This is another one that the car has. All right, I'm glad I remember, but it's right there on the roof. All right, let's go inside the car real quick. Folks, I do have a uh, black interior. All seat belts and buckles are in place. Vinyl floor, both rear doors were reassembled so they are fully functional from inside and out of the vehicle, okay? So are the windows. Windows do go up and down with the switch, not a problem at all. OCTA, Orange County Transfer Authorities, that's the uh, Department of Transportation. Driver's side is in perfect conditions, nice and comfortable. I do have a uh, Habeas Center console. Everything works. Map light works. You're going to see that switch right there a little later, what it does. And I do have a new cigarette lighter. getting dark on me here pretty quick perfect dash no holes on this beauty whatsoever hunk works electric uh, electric retractable pedals right here this little red switch it's a secure idle it does work please ignore the PM preventive maintenance I already go ahead and uh, gone through the whole car 
So uh, we can go ahead and disregard those 89,000 miles. Folks, I do have a uh, new cigarette lighter. A little map light works, flexible. Red LED, new LED. This is a uh, new uh, new ticket light that I went ahead and invested some extra money on by sound off. My place do work. Let me see what else. Okay, let's fire her up. There it is, guys. 90,000 miles. I'm responsible for 199 driven so far. Idle hours are 21.05. Stereo works. Folks, as you can see, I do have new Unity Spotlight bulbs right there. These are new. They do work. They're super bright. They are new, guys. Okay. Let's get to the trunk of the vehicle. I do have a, a full spare. I have a first aid kit box right there to the right and a uh, additional storage box for a, for a battery. That's what that is. I didn't want to remove it so I went ahead and left that alone for you guys. Folks, also just so you know, the wheels, all four wheels were painted so they were reconditioned and brought back to new conditions here. Let's go under the hood here real quick. The paint does look great on the car. It still looks nice and shiny. But once again, guys, it does have scratches. Okay. Original paint from factory, so it does have scratches. I did not have this car repainted, so I wanted to keep it original. I do have uh, scuff marks on the front bumper and on the rear bumper. They're not big, but they are there, and it, it is my job to let you know that they're there. That way you're not caught off guard when you buy the car and you come pick it up or you get it home, okay? Folks, once again, vehicle has been completely serviced and detailed. She doesn't need any repairs whatsoever, as everything already has been done to her. All she's gonna need is fuel, pretty much. That is it. She is strong and she is fast. Okay, starting right to left. I do have a new air filter. Throttle body was serviced and cleaned out. A new Motocraft Platinum Spark Plus. 520 full synthetic oil service and filter. Transmission was service fluid and filter. Air conditioner is super cold. I do have a new AC Delco heavy duty battery. Okay. Folks, I've also noticed that the car does have a new drive belt, new tensioner from that department, and I was able to tell that the uh, condenser, radiator, and fan shot were replaced as a whole unit, so these three are new. It looked like it was replaced maybe not long ago, but those three are new. One, two, three, in that condenser, those are new, okay? Clear lights and lenses, they are Ford. I don't mess around with the uh, aftermarket parts. Okay, um, a, uh, brakes 80% all around. I did uh, have uh, a set of uh, four new tires installed into, into this car. Goodyear RSA Eagles. Uh, I did get an alignment done and all four wheels were properly balanced. All right. Hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, this little switch here is uh, for the wig wax.
So I do have a front wig wax flashers, forehead clear, four clear strobes. Those are completely legal to have. So we're not breaking any laws. One last final look here for us. Clock is sticking. Gotta go. For some of you guys watching, you guys are gonna are gonna notice that I'm taping at a whole new location. That's because I had to come and get my daughter from school. So yeah. Do what I gotta do, right? But it is me. Crown Victoria guy, it is me guys. Thank you. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm just doing it at a different location. Alright, folks, this is this is it for me once again. This is a 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor from the city of Orange County, California. And it belongs to the Department of Transportation. Uh, any questions, comments, you're interested in buying this car, please let me know. And I will go ahead and talk to you about it. Uh, other than that, guys, I want to thank you for watching this long video. This is the Crown Victoria guy signing off. You guys have yourself a great weekend. Thank you very much. Take care and God bless.